And we are looking at a warm but sunny start down in Collier County as the sun comes up there. You can see that there on the bay front and there the sun on the right hand side of your screen. And it's a uh, beautiful start to the day, but uh, temperature wise, we're sitting at 73 degrees. So uh, on the warm side uh, there in Naples, up at 72 here in Cape Coral, as well as at Fort Myers, uh, looking at uh, 68 degrees, Port Charlotte, 67 LaBelle, Kaluiston at uh, 64 here this morning. We're also tracking uh, areas of locally dense fog there in Henry and Glades County. Uh, look at Moorhaven, Kaluiston, both at uh, zero visibility. LaBelle at uh, one mile visibility. Then in northern Collier County there, Immokalee uh, sitting at uh, an eighth of a mile. We're also seeing some little bit of patchy fog up in the Northport area as well. Uh, so just kind of keep in mind of that. But uh, take a look at the next couple hours here as we are looking at uh, more uh, partly cloudy skies uh, over the next couple hours as well as clouding up into the noontime hour right around 80 degrees there. That's going to be the high for the day as we are watching a cold front fast approaching. So uh, temperature wise uh, looking at uh, 70s and 80s today, 79 degrees Bonita Springs, Naples, 80 down to Marco Island, inland there um, looking at Mockley at uh, 84 as well as Kaluas and 83 LaBelle. Uh, but we are watching the chance for maybe an isolated shower as the cold front moves through. And that's what's bringing in some showers and storms uh, north of the Tampa and Orlando area here this morning. And this is going to continue to push southward as we get in towards this afternoon for you. So let me talk it out for you here as we get towards three o'clock. There that is the front itself. You see a little bit of shower activity there in the Anglewood area, and a lot of this is starting to start to fizzle out in terms of any showers, but we are expecting more of the clouds as we get towards this afternoon, and then that switch to that northerly wind, which is going to help usher in that drier air. And what we really need is notice that drier air as we get towards tomorrow morning as we clear things out. I'm expecting a lot more sunshine on the way for us as we get towards your Friday and a lot lower humidity. And this afternoon we're seeing humidity up 70. 80%. Watch we get into tomorrow afternoon. 20s, 20, 25%. 20, so a lot lower humidity. We'll also be watching that fire danger increasing uh, tomorrow as well, with that said. But lower humidity is going to allow temperatures tonight to uh, getting down about 58 degrees as we gradually clear things out and uh, lead to a pretty nice weekend. Friday looking at uh, 74 degrees so overall, cooler day, but slowly warming up into the weekend. 77 degrees there. Saturday, 80 expected for you there on your Sunday. So pretty nice uh, weekend. Again, lower humidity in the forecast. The next couple of days will slowly see that creeping back up as we get towards your Tuesday, but overall still on the lower side in that comfy range by the Tuesday, but we'll be tracking another front moving in uh, on Tuesday, and that's going to help reinforce that drier air in place. And take a look at that seven day forecast. Plenty of sunshine through the weekend into early next week. That next front there moving in on Tuesday brings us our next shot of some moisture around and then reinforces that drier air for the second half of next week.